Hey, I'm Max Pleasure. So this Pride Month has been unlike any other that I've ever experienced. And I know I'm not the only one. Like there's the meme going around that's like, Pride is canceled, this year is wrath. And like, I get the joke and it's funny, but we can still celebrate Pride. It's just that the definition of celebrate is going to look a little different this year. And actually it's gonna be different from this year forward. At least I know it will be for me. Like. Pride can't just be about partying and filling up your gig schedule. Even though I'm a drag king, I know that there is power in going to a drag show and seeing a drag performer feel their fantasy and being surrounded by your community members and like just all having fun together. That's so important and so special and so empowering. But like, we can't lose sight of what got us there and what keeps us there. And that's standing up for our community's rights and taking care of the members of our community. And that's what's gonna be the focus of my Pride celebrations moving forward. And I recommend that it's yours too. Here are five ways that we can celebrate Pride this year. Number one, the most important one, take political action. You can sign petitions. You can attend rallies and protests. You can donate supplies to those rallies and protests. You can contact your government officials. You can donate money to organizations. You can also donate directly to community members in need. This is an incredibly pivotal moment for the Black Lives Matter movement, and we need to keep that momentum going. My friend Junior Mint took over my channel previously and suggested three ways that we can support the Black trans women in our community. Um, if you haven't watched it already, that video is definitely worth a watch. Number two, virtually visit with your friends and queer family. Queer people have always survived and thrived with the help of their friends. And we're so lucky that we have the technology to still be able to connect with our friends while social distancing. Spending virtual time with my queer family has been so beneficial to me. We talk through current events, we vent to each other, we're there for each other, we share information and we cheer each other up. And like keeping that connection going when there's all this scary stuff happening in the world right now it's a lifeline i'm always grateful for my friends but right now especially Checking in with your friends is so important, but what's also important and possibly even more important is checking in with yourself. Number three, have some special me time. And of course that can mean any number of fun things, but in the context of celebrating pride in a way that's beneficial to your community, I mean taking time to yourself to do some reflecting, like journaling or meditating or educating yourself with books or documentaries or educational articles. I just feel like to be a good active participant of your community you need to like know the principles that you want to hold yourself to and also like understand the context of your place in the community. And you can do that by knowing your community's history, which is number four on this list. Review some queer history. Understanding our history and knowing where we came from is so important. You can watch documentaries, you can watch movies, you can even connect with the queer elders in your scene or just the people who have been around a little bit longer than you and they could really teach you a thing or two. Learning about this history allows you to understand your place in the community and actually allows you to activate that space and your role in a way that's beneficial. That's my opinion anyway. Last but definitely not least, number five, tune into a digital drag show. Drag is the queer art form. Drag is such an important part of our community. And also the way that drag has been brought into the mainstream, it's providing a platform for queer people and creating opportunities for visibility on a worldwide scale. Also, it's just a lot of fun. And honestly, I feel like what's Pride Month without a drag show? As scary as these current circumstances are, we can still celebrate pride. We just have to make sure that we're doing it in a way that helps the cause. Thank you for watching this video and to everyone watching, I hope that you have a very prideful pride month. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, give me a like. Let me know how you plan on celebrating pride in the comments. Um, and if you wanna see more from me, you can subscribe. Thank you.